Deputy Prime Minister Datuk Sri Dr Ahmad Zahid Hamidi says action will be taken against those who are involved in human trafficking. He says authorities are compiling information on certain officials who are allowing illegal immigrants to enter and exit the country illegally. We should not close one eye or even both eyes in terms of enforcement. We have to work together with enforcement agencies. Jangan pikir tentang wang ringgit. Pikir tentang nyawa manusia. Jangan pikir bahawa wang ringgit boleh membeli nyawa. But at the same time, this is not just about enforcement. This is about awareness among the public, the Malaysian citizen. Any information pertaining to illegal activities, especially in trafficking in person, has to be notified to the enforcement agencies. Dr. Ahmad Zahid says the respective embassies and consulates to return the documents to those who have overstayed in order for them to go home. However, he says they have to pay a fine and workers' levy before they can go home. Now, we have to show that, number one, we have to be firm. But at the same time, we have to be also fair to this victim. Because when they came in, I would say 99% of them is this legal document. Dan uh, ramai 19 orang yang terselamat yang dibawa oleh APMM ke Kelang untuk tidak akan lanjut ter, termasuk uh, melakukan catatan dan untuk memperoleh maklumat lanjut. As more than 40 Indonesians are still missing, the search and rescue efforts are still continuing to look for more survivors after the boat carrying illegal immigrants returning to Indonesia capsized on Thursday.